next one is like percent a now tell what it will do so a percent means starting letter will be a and remaining everything whatever is there that will display percent a if you give then ending letter will be a Whatever the, whatever the letters are there in starting, it will, not, it will display. Like wherever the letter A is there. Okay, first one example. This one means first level first letter is A, and rem remaining all letters will be anything. Whatever the letters are there, it will display. Second one example. I think A one is not there. C L one. Not only A, anything you can give. So N I said. So it will give marking. So last letter should be N. Remaining everything, whatever the records are there, that will display. And the third one example. Wherever the A is there, so Martin also will come because A is there in between. And uh, second one, Adams, this is also will come. James also will come. So we'll see practically. Display the employee details whose name is starts with A. Select so start from A. Name like percent a percent. See, starts with a Allen and Adams. These two records displayed. Display employee details whose name is ends with A. Ends with A. So A there is no records as you see here. So there is N. Ends with N. Then we will write query percentage N. See LN. And Martin, these two are having ends with N. Okay. Display the employee details whose name is contains. Contains letter A. Respective of position not starting not ending anyway if there is a we should display like that a percent a percent in every name there is a letter a, a, a. so that is the like of letter Clear. Yes, brother.
Till now we completed the operators. Now discuss the important part topics only. Remaining there are some operators that for that I will have document. We forward this document also. You can track it. Union linear or intercept minus this operator divided by operator minus operator not and R concatenate operator. So all are there. I will give this document also. You can track this. So our next topic is scale functions. So see this people, the first people name, name is John. Here also we are having some functions. Functions, date functions, period functions, and these are the some functions and there. So first we will see the aggregate functions. These aggregate functions are very important. String functions are. Aggregate functions are in max, which sum. These are the aggregate functions. Okay, like that, I will tell you order by class. Order by how it will do. One is ascending order, descending order. If you use ESC. Results will be displayed in ascending order. Ascending order means small value to big value. Okay, by default, if you don't give anything by default, the ascending order will be applied. Okay. Descending order, the results will be.
descending artery. Descending artery means big value to small value. See one example. So there is salary column. So we will see ascending and descending column. So select star from line order by salary ascend. See small value to big value. Ascending order only we can see here salaries, all salaries. Okay. Next, descending. T -E S C. If you say order by salary descending, then we can see descending order. Big value to small value. We can observe here. Salaries, all salaries are in descending order. Not only salaries you can give, you can give per department number also. Order by department descending. Department number also you can give. 30, 20, 10. Order by salary. I have not given anything here. Ascending also not given. Descending also not given. Order by salary. Just simply I mentioned order by salary. Then it will display ascending order only. So by default, the ascending order will be applied if you don't mention anything in order by. This is order. I'll create one simple table. Whatever I'm telling, that is also very important interview possibility. Start from T1, order by number. Now think and tell me what will be the answer for this. For ascending order and for descending order. Just try whatever right or wrong. None, only one, two, three, four. Four, three, two, one. Any other answers from anyone?
Okay, we'll try. It is reverse. Null value should come last in ascending order. So everyone will confuse. So everyone will think null values will come first, but it will come last. That is the reason they will ask you in interview for confusion. Then what about this? It is reverse here. Null values will come first. Explain the execution of select case. Whenever the select query you are writing, select column one, column two, or any functions you can write anything. First, the select statement should be there. Next, from class. Table one, table two. So you can give joins a number of tables you can join. Next to where class. Condition one. If more than one condition are there, you need to give and condition. There is a, if there is another condition, in interview and condition. Next, group by. It's not a mandatory, it will come. Only for aggregate functions. What are the aggregate functions? Min, max, sum, average, count. These are the aggregate functions. Next, order by. After group by having class. Next, this is the total select query. The complete set query we need to see. Okay. So simply I will write one set query. Let's start from from employee. Department number equal to 10. Salary is greater than salary is greater than. So here we are not using any aggregate function. So group by should not come. Next order by. Order by salad. So this is one select query. So I am saying department 10 number values. 
and also salary greater than 2400 and also order by salary so this is like this now like this we can create a select query okay now see the aggregate functions I want to see the minimum salary for the employee table. What will the minimum salary? What are the salary? So this should be the minimum salary, right? So how to write that? Select the minimum of salary from employee. I see the minimum salary. Eight hundred is the minimum salary. Okay. In this, we are having some departments. 10th department, 20th department, 30th department, we are having these departments. Okay, these departments, we now we want to see start from department number equal to 10. In this 10th department, what is the minimum salary? 20th department, what is the minimum salary? 30th department, what is the minimum salary? We want to see. So previously we have seen all the employee table, we have seen the minimum salary. Minimum salary from employee details. But now we want to see for particular department number, what is the minimum salary? So here minimum salary is the 1300, here minimum salary is the 1800, here minimum salary is the 1250. No, sorry, 950 here. So we want to see that. So here, DPT number, department number, I am giving. Hmm. What are we to give? Not a single group function. Not a single group function means, we are using aggregate function. Aggregate function is a not sing, not single group. This is the aggregation. In named cell, it is an aggregate function. So here we need group by condition. This requires group by condition or group by class. Group with department. So we want department wise content. So group with group by department number. This is the answer. Okay. Now here I don't want null values. Department number null value I don't want. Then here only you can use where condition. Where department number is not null. Now there is no not null. So 30th department, there is 950 is the minimum salary. 20th department, 800 is the minimum salary. 
tenth department, thirteen hundred is the minimum salary. So here in descending order the results came. So we want to see in ascending ascending order. So order by where you will give? Here we will give order by department number. This is the complete secretary as per the requirement. So every time, this is only order you should follow. Select class, next to from class, next to where class. So if there is any more than one condition, we need to give end condition. Next, after the group by class, if require having class, if require order by class. So this is the order for the selected every time. So if we write order by before group by, it will not work. It will throw an error. If you write group by before where condition, it will draw an error. If you write where condition before from class, it will draw an error. So this is the order of select query. Select from where group by having order. Okay, you need to remember this every time. Clear this. Any doubts? Okay, next one. So now we have seen the minimum. Now we will see maximum salary. Select the start, sorry, select the maximum salary. Another one. So we want to see minimum salary is not equal to 800. That is also another condition. We want to see minimum salary. Otherwise, okay. We want to see minimum salary is greater than 900. Greater than 900 only, we want to see. That we can use having clause. Having where prepared should come after the group by. Having minimum of salary greater than 900. See, now we got the results. So in, in one query, all clauses we have used. Group by where, having, order by all. But every time, this order should be like this only. It should not change. Now, previously we have seen the minimum salary, now we will see the maximum salary. Select the max salary. What is the maximum salary? This is the maximum salary. Five thousand is the maximum salary. Five thousand is the maximum salary. Now same thing. If you want to see the same query, if you want to see the maximum salary in place of minimum, you can just simply put maximum. This is the same. So we will see having condition also. Bro. Yes.
హలో ఎస్ ఒక మాక్సిమం ఏదో సెలెక్ట్ చేసాం డిసెండింగ్ ఆర్డర్ లో అది కూడా వచ్చింది 3000 2050 అది కూడా వచ్చింది అండి ఎక్కడ అంటే అది సెలెక్ట్ మాక్సిమం సాలరీ అంటే అది ఒకటే రావాలి కదా ఆహా కానీ ఇక్కడ మనం డిపార్ట్మెంట్ నెంబర్ ఇచ్చాం కదా గ్రూప్ బై డిపార్ట్మెంట్ నెంబర్ ఆహా అండ్ ఇక్కడ ఆర్డర్ బై కూడా ఇచ్చాం మనం ఓకే ఈ ఈ కండిషన్స్ కూడా ఇచ్చాం కాబట్టి అవి కూడా వచ్చింది ఓకే సో మనం గ్రూప్ బై డిపార్ట్మెంట్ నెంబర్ ఇచ్చాం సో ఫస్ట్ డైరెక్ట్ గా మాక్సిమం సాలరీ ఇచ్చినప్పుడు టోటల్ టేబుల్ నుంచి మాక్సిమం సాలరీ తీసుకుంటే కానీ ఇక్కడ మనం డిపార్ట్మెంట్ నెంబర్ కూడా ఇచ్చాం గ్రూప్ బై సో డిపార్ట్మెంట్ వైస్ మాక్సిమం సాలరీ ఇచ్చేసి ఓకే ఫ్రమ్స్ so in real time also you need to make a select query like this one bro the already maximum salary teesukuntanu kada inka have have malli maximum ane indike vale having ante na requirement enti ikkada already ee details vachinayi ఇంకా నా మన రిక్వైర్మెంట్ ఏంటంటే ఓన్లీ మాక్సిమం సాలరీ గ్రేటర్ దాన్ ఆర్ ఈక్వల్ టు త్రీ థౌసండ్ ఆ వాల్యూస్ డిస్ప్లే అవ్వాలి నాకు అది మన రిక్వైర్మెంట్ అందుకని నేను ఇక్కడ హ్యావింగ్ కండిషన్ ఇచ్చాను గ్రేటర్ దాన్ త్రీ థౌసండ్ అంటే ఓన్లీ ఈ టూ ఏ వస్తాయి ఇది రాదు నేను అన్ని కండిషన్స్ యూజ్ చేయడానికి నేను యూజ్ చేస్తాను ఏదో ఒక రిక్వైర్మెంట్ క్రియేట్ చేసి అవి అన్ని కండిషన్స్ యూజ్ చేయడానికి నేను చూపిస్తాను సెలెక్ట్ చేయడం సో ఇక్కడ హ్యావింగ్ కండిషన్ వచ్చాయి హ్యావింగ్ మ్యాక్సిమం సాలరీస్ గ్రేటర్ దాన్ అది కూడా త్రీ థౌసండ్ అంటే మనకి ఓన్లీ టూ రికార్డ్స్ వస్తాయి త్రీ థౌసండ్ ఉండొచ్చు త్రీ థౌసండ్ కంటే ఎక్కువ ఉండొచ్చు ఇది కండిషన్ మినిమం ఇష్టం లెస్ దాన్ అయినా ఇచ్చుకోవచ్చు ఏదైనా ఇచ్చుకోవచ్చు ఇష్టం కానీ ఫర్ అండర్స్టాండింగ్ పర్పస్ ఐఎమ్ బీ దిస్ కండిషన్స్ సో ఇన్ సేమ్ కండిషన్ యూ కెన్ సీ ద సమ్ యావరేజ్ ఆల్సో ఇఫ్ యూ వాంట్ టు సీ యావరేజ్ ఏవిజి హౌ యావరేజ్ విల్ క్యాల్కులేట్ How average is calculated? Anyone? Sum of total salaries by number of... Hmm. Number of records. So here 15 records are there. Sum of the salaries divided by 15. So that is the average. Again, same query. If you want to see... department number department number is average if you want to see you can see average Twenty department number this is the average salary 20th department number this is the average salary 
30th department number, this is the average sum. Next one is sum. Collect the sum of salaries. This is the total salary, total employee salary. If you want to see department wise sum, this is the department wise sum. So these are the aggregate functions. Aggregate function should require group by condition. Group by condition also should require aggregate function, vice versa. Next count. So count, regarding count, we have already discussed. Everyone remember, what is the yes. difference between count star and count one and count of column? Count of one shows call any column, take the any column and display the count. Count star, right? Or count one? Count of one. Okay. Count star is the total. Okay. So if you say, let's say select count star. What will be the result? Output. Here, right? It will be result. On start from employee. So, total there are 15 records. If we say count star, how many records it will be? How many? What will be the result? 15. If you say count one. 15. So count of employee number. 15. Count of commission. Four. Right? The commission column contains null values. If there are only four four not null values that is why if you give count of commission it has given four only so whenever you have given column name count of column name it will not consider the null values okay this is the count so we want to see what is the employee count for the particular department Employee count for the particular department. For null values, is null you have to use. Yeah. Is null. Yeah, for null values, is null. Oh, is null. So I want to see the employee count for the particular department. Select. Count of employee number. This will give count of employee number. But I want particular department number. Um, sorry. So particular department number means you need to group by the condition. Group by department number. This query will give count of employee numbers. Here, as alias name, also you can give like form. So, department number will give first.
This is the department. 30th department, there are six employees. Null department, there is one employee. 20th department, there are five employees. 10th department, there are three employees. Department wise, employee count. Clear, everyone? So, here I don't want to see the department null. How to write? This record should not come. So, in their condition, we can use their department number is not null. So null value, I don't want to display. This is the result. And if you want to see this result in ascending order, order by same result, order by Amazon, order by. These are the aggregate functions and these are the very important functions. Everyone clear? Two things you should remember. One is select query order. And another thing is group by condition should come with aggregate functions. That's it. And the order also you should remember where group by having order. That's it. Clear, right? Aggregate functions. Any doubt? This is very important, and this is also very confusing, also. So that's the reason I told first time. So this number function, character functions, nothing will be there. Just only simple select query only. But little bit string functions are different. These are nothing will be there. So clear everyone till aggregate functions. Any doubts? Yes, clear. No doubts, then uh, I'll stop the session for today. By a user. Okay.